Hello Internet. So I haven't done a bike video for a while. That's going to change today because I've got this exciting box here and a part to install today. If you don't like polos, soft mints, extra strong mints, what you need is a power mint. Um, let's have a look and see what's inside this box. So what was inside the box? This was inside the box. Um, if you watched my previous bike videos, you know, I really wanted to add a screen to my Z300. Really felt the wind as soon as it got up to about 60 miles an hour or above. So I've got a screen. Um, this one here, the, another, I always struggle with company names. Is it Pug? Puig? Pug? P-U-I-G. I'm not sure on the pronunciation. I apologize. High tech parts since 1964. But yeah, a little screen. They do it in various colours, so in carbon black, uh, a dark tint, a light tint, and a clear. This is the light tint, which I I was really undecided about which colour would be suitable or the, or the best looking. Um, I've gone for the light tint, so hopefully that will look cool. Um, cost is... they're not cheap, any of the screens really. This was one of the cheapest I was able to find. Um, I think I bought it from Amazon in the, in the end, about £48 plus postage. I think £54 all in. Um, I think they used to be a little cheaper pre-Brexit, annoyingly. Um, but yeah, I think they come from Europe, so a bit more expensive at the moment. The other thing that concerns me a little bit is I don't think they're huge, like the actual screen, only a little bit of it goes over the instruments. Most of it is, is where there's sort of protection by the headlights anyway. But um, all of the screens I saw for the Z300 looked to be similar sizes. There was a touring screen that was a little bit larger, but only a fraction, and that was 80 odd pounds, which I just thought was, was far too much for a piece of plastic. So um, this is the one I went for, but it hopefully will give a little bit of extra protection. And it does say on the packaging, it has been wind tunnel tested. So um, hopefully it'll just be enough just to pop the air, you know, off of my chest and, and hopefully over my helmet. What does it say? Mounting instructions, dismount the original screen, keeping the nuts and bolts so they can be reused, position it, screw the bolts tightly, in the middle, tighten all the bolts. And that looks pretty straightforward. But yeah, there it is in its package. I will show you it on the bike now. So here's where my bike has been, because I haven't got a garage of my own, so I've had to store it at my dad's base. It's part of a Honda sandwich, so there's my lovely Z300. My dad's original Fireblade, and over there, an old Super Dream 250. My dad's two bikes, but there's my Kawasaki, nice and tucked away. It's just that I haven't got a garage, or I've just got a little waterproof cover in the garden, so I'd rather tuck it away in the garage. And I don't, I don't ride much in the winter, to be honest. I'm a, I'm a bit of a fair weather rider. I should say as well, there's a battery back down there, but it's not for the Kawasaki, which is new bike, new battery starts absolutely fine. But I think it's for the for the Hondas, which don't get used so much, though. I can see Dad's taking the seat off to get to the battery to, I guess, start up the Fireblade at some point. I do love that Super Dream, though. He's had it from, from new my dad, and it's um, it's been looked after that. Really original. Hello, internet. So I was about to film me doing the screen, but we just had a bit of a start-up of all three bikes, so it's probably quite noisy behind me, but just giving the bikes a quick start. All finished, screen installed. Really happy with the look. And thumbs up from Dad. <laughs> Good to have some help to hold it while you're tightening the box, but actually really easy yeah. installed. But yeah, that is it on the bike. And I'm really pleased with the look. And now the removing of the film from the front Ooh. of the screen. Ta-da! Yeah, so you can see it's just a... Yeah, a few inches higher, but it does look like it's going to give some wind protection. Um, be interested what it's like when I go for my first ride with it.